carving and sculpting eggshells with a dental drill and sanding disc is not a job for the heavy-handed. For Tina Canapel, it's a passion. Eggs are a continuous arch, and because an eggshell is a continuous arch, it has a lot of natural strength. You'll see eggshells where I've taken out so much that it looks like lace. And the whole, the whole trick to that is having regular connections between the different pieces of the lace so the eggshell stays intact. Tina Canapel carves, sculpts, and sells about 1,600 eggshells a year. She buys infertile eggs that have already been empty from bird breeders. The ostrich eggshell is very hard. It's like china. She uses all kinds of eggs, including emu, goose, pheasant, and parrot eggs. And this is my file for designs. The process begins with the signs printed on paper and then glued to the eggshell. You need the paper to stabilize the face of the eggshell, so if you're going to have to carve through paper, you may as well have your design on the paper. Eggshells have hard and soft spots. The paper reduces the chance of chipping. So Canapel has more than 300 designs that include animals, Absolutely. portraits, and geometric forms. But whatever the design, carving always has to start at the most difficult part of it. So if the eggshell breaks, hours haven't been lost. When you're working with cats and dogs and human beings, the most difficult thing is the eyes, so you always start with the eyes. Because if you mess up the eyes, you've messed up the design. As Canapel works, her three Abyssinian cats keep her company. Two are camera shy, but Jackson is fascinated by the lens. They'll walk all around the carved eggshells, and they don't bother them at all. In fact, he's loving them. <laughs> Say, I love eggshells. Yes. Whoops! Once the carving is finished, so the eggshell is clean, egg first in warm water to release the paper, and then in bleach. What the bleach does is it eats all of the organic material in the eggshell, and when it's completely sterilized, there won't be any bubbles come up. In the historic town of Okokwan near Washington, D.C., the artist undertaking gallery includes some of Canapel's carved eggshells. This heron looks painted, but there is no paint. The colors emerge during the carving. This is an emu eggshell. It has three layers. The outside is such a dark green, it looks black. The layer underneath that is teal or blue, and the layer underneath that is a paper-thin white, and I carved between the three, the three layers. Canapel's eggshells range between $30 and $400 a piece. Insurance against cracking is not included. This is Sulima Palacio, VOA News, Ogokwan, Virginia. $25 to $55, and those are the ones that...